it's the first round. This will decide who goes to Singapore. Um, that's what's going on. Uh, he's uh, Ralph Gwenha or something like that. He didn't show up, so I get a buy. Uh, he's actually a proven hacker, so he never goes to lands in the USA. I'll probably face a day nine, the second place from last year. Uh, I think I'm going to win. <laughs> it's, it's around this time that my family really started to just gel around StarCraft, you know? Like, any time we had a tournament, Mom would ask for updates. Uh, Nick and I would constantly call each other. And I got a call from Nick. He said, I won. I'm going to the finals, man. And I, was, and I have never been so happy in my entire life. We were just like, oh, my God, he trained so hard, and he did it. And you're both going to be at the finals because, you know what? We're a family that plays StarCraft. Uh, we're just the ones who get it, you know. Oh, yeah, I quit my job about six weeks ago to start practicing for this. I, I quit every year, basically, whatever I'm doing, to practice for WCG because I just enjoy it so much. It's like the highlight of my year. If I don't win, I'll just I'll go home sad and uh, practice more, uh, you know. <laughs> Come back next year. So going to that 2005 finals, it was... Horrible to find out that my brother and I were paired against each other first round. I'm tasteless. Our game, I got to play my younger brother, round one. Yeah, he's right over there. We've been practicing. We just found out we're playing together. So, let's see whoever wins this. So, when the host, you know, it's one of the whole thing, man. Seriously. I, yeah, I promise you that, man. Whoever wins between the two of us will win the whole thing. So. And I remember going out there, and it was just so bittersweet, because I had to play my brother first round, and and I won. And afterwards, he gave me a big hug and everything, and, you know, I was talking to him. I just felt really bad. <laughs> and I remember he, he brought me into this backstage, and he just started crying, because he's just like, I'm sorry, man, you know, I, I practiced really hard for this. And, and, and then he just said, but you know what, Sean? You're going to win this tournament. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you. It's just so important to me that... Just that, like the how supportive he could be, that he could be so upset that he flew all the way out, worked so hard, and ended up getting eliminated first round to his brother, so he's going to deal with all those obvious, obnoxious comparisons. But that he still just says, you know, I'm so proud of you. You're going to win. And I, and then from that moment on, like I was focused, man. I mean, I can't lose after that. I can't be like, whoops, sorry, lost to a four pool. Next round, whoops, got bunker rushed. You know, so. the guy who I told you I thought would win one, so I'll be playing him next round. In my opinion, that'll probably be the best match of the tournament. We're probably really close in skill, so it'll be really good. Good maps too. Three-time U.S. champion is losing right now to a guy who hasn't played in three months. Really exciting. Everyone's getting all antsy over it. Ross head. Uh, you know, gone to the grand finals. He beat Boxer twice in 2002 in a group of death. I mean, just an epic, epic player. And Froz is... He is the most influential gamer that I've ever known. Uh, I'm Tom Whittier, and I'm Froz. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I, I'm getting old. It's, it's a good time to quit the game now. Yeah, I'm done. This is my last game ever. I think Sean, my friend Day9, is going to do well. He got second last year, and I think there's no one in left that can beat him. I have to go with my man Day, like I said before. He's, he's pretty much going to take the whole thing. That's it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> picture, like, capture the picture. Like, serious, sir. <laughs> Mega ghost. So who, who is the guy that you got to go beat him? So I go break his fingers before he comes over? Yeah, I go beat him up. Where is he? Uh, hi, Mr. Foley. All right, now maybe I'm up former extreme wrestling guy, maybe I'm formerly the hardcore legend. Montana 8, yes, 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 bad, B-A-double-D, nice. The commentators were up on stage, and they, there, it was Radio ITG, and they were doing all the events, and their guy up on stage just didn't play StarCraft at all. Seen a couple dropships pick up some, some siege tanks at the moment. So he's up there and he has the mic and he's watching a game and he's like, wow. He literally is like turned sideways looking at his computer and he's going, wow, that guy, he is making Marines. Those Marines, man, he can, they're, they can shoot up, down, he's going to keep making them. And Nick went up to them right after that game and he said, okay, look, I understand your guy doesn't have that much experience, 
give me the mic. I'll take care of all this. Nick walked right up on the stage there. Absolutely no preparation. Sat down and commented beautifully. He said everything right. Anytime his, the, the, the co-caster said anything at all that seemed ridiculous, Nick would totally just save him, would not do any sort of thing to embarrass him. And Radio ITG hired him right on the spot, and that's what began his casting career. You've got a very, very aggressive player coming up against a very comfortably defensive player. And it's very interesting to see some Argus Marines. I would not want to be that Marine right now. I have all those after me. Well, that was, that's really, maybe I can do it in Singapore or something. Maybe I can talk to him. Actually, I'm going to talk to him right now. I'll be right back. There is this game on Australia again, because WCG just for some reason wants to have an island map. He goes, so Nick, it's an island map. Do you think we're going to see drops? And he like... Uh, like, don't you think? And Nick's like, yes, I definitely think that's a possibility here. You know, big variety that we can, you know, do here. Just completely picked it up. I mean, I'm not going to lie. 99 people out of 100 would have been like, well, gee, yeah, I think he might get drops if he's into ever attacking in this war game. Yeah, I think he'll maybe get drops if he's interested in winning ever. You know, but Nick just completely just crisp. No, no dropping the ball at all there. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I can't do one push-up. I'm a StarCraft player. Yeah, so if you go speed, then drop, then you have a lot of hydralisks. And plus, uh, an island-based Protoss is extraordinarily expensive. I spend money on shuttles and cannons and pylons all over the place to make sure everything's defended, so it becomes an even money game. Yo, I'm a fan of yours, dude. Relax. That was very, very exciting. No, seriously, you guys are skilled in that shit, dude. Thanks. Very cool. <laughs> I uh, just had some Red Bull and an old sandwich, and I threw up a bunch downstairs, so I'm in a great mood for my next round match. I was, I was feeling perfectly confident. I mean, I've been dreading the game against my brother forever, and like, now I have to play against Artosis, and I was feeling totally fine against that, because I know him, and I just feel comfortable against the style of play. But then I heard that my friend Tom, who's won WCG like the last two years, and also won in 2001, just lost 0-2 to someone who just... I don't think is anywhere near as good as he is. I mean, it's just a complete upset. And I mean, when you watch the games, it's not even that something stupid happened. I mean, he, my friend Frost just got absolutely outplayed. And for some reason, that shook me up a whole bunch. And then I just started feeling really ill. So I'm hoping it's just caffeine poisoning from the Red Bull I've consumed. U.S. Frost did. Well, it's a lot of pressure today. for me. So I'll try to do First my best. And I tend to play well under pressure. So best of luck to me. But it was it was just so nice to have him just be there between every round. I didn't have to call him. He was just like, I mean, he was, he was like right there, you know. I could just easily, you know, like, he'd be like, awesome, man, you played well. And I'd just like high-five him. Um, I was just so focused that whole tournament. I ate so little. My focus was just peaked.
have an answer. <laughs> what? No, it's a model number. You, sir. Who are so <laughs> that was your camera? That's it, I'm out. Days going to win the tournament. <laughs> uh, that's it. I just went 2-0 uh, with hey, we'll Artosis. And I got really sick name? before the game and threw up a whole bunch what in the bathroom. And then for some reason I felt here? like fine at the start the of the game. And I just had great confidence and I did everything I practiced, so I'm feeling good. Well, yeah, I told you he was going to win. I, I, I knew he could do it. But yeah, like I said, whoever won uh, between us would win. The, he's going to win the whole thing, I promise. You keep watching. Whoever won between the two of us would win, so that's it, yeah. Today is the fastest uh, non-Korean in the world. This guy has literally 350 actions per minute. That is massive. I was watching Sean earlier, and he was absolutely smoking the keyboard. Okay, all right, here it is again. Joe Schober extended himself there. He's getting a little cocky. Taking those sheep tanks. One is falling. All right, all right. Falling. Here we go. Get it, get it, down. do it. Circling, it's moving everywhere. From all over the map. Scourge, ultra circlings. The bunker fell like a butter. All right, Scourge, come in here. Going to kill anything they see. Siege tanks going down. Those ultras taking them. More Zerg units. Very easily. Down to two siege tanks. Another All right, this is going to be too much. I don't know. This is bad for sure. When bad news, that entire army has been taken out. This is something every Terran player has experienced, but I wouldn't want to experience it right Reinforcements now. Reinforcements coming in from the south for Sean. Those Zerglings coming in to clean up whatever's left. Ultralist moving north towards the northern GG, day. that's it. Good game. Congrats. Very polite game. Very nice. Incredible play. players. Well done. Well, what can you say? Um, all I got to say is uh, those are some close games. It went, uh, you know, at first I saw that first game. I didn't know if Yosh was going to be able to come back, and Yosh dominated the second game, proving that he's one of the most powerful Terrans uh, on Earth. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, Zerg's a race. You got to keep under control, and, you know, Sean's in a, he's an out-of-control guy, and, you know, he just... It's, it's, it was not a comfortable thing for Taryn to be in at that moment. Sean will move on. He has secured himself a first place win here. I'll keep playing. I mean, it's only one turn with that, you know. Uh, probably play StarCraft till I'm about 50. You know, I'll just practice hard and win the next one, I guess. I'm pretty surprised I'm lost, but if anyone was going to beat me, it was him, so. He deserves to go see him. That's about it. <laughs> Trace has two very loud friends, dude. Okay, once again, Carol. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Team USA on the way to 